Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. In this vlog, we are returning to Robin Hood's grave, which is just over there, over the trees in the corner of that field. I will be walking all the way over there a little bit later on. I'm going to tell you why. Yeah, so why have I come back to the spooky woods where I did the Robin Hood's grave? Now, these woods are really spooky and supposed to be haunted. The reason is I'm meeting up with uh, Darren from Adventure Me, a fellow YouTuber, fantastic channel. Now, if you've been following my channel, you will know that this time of year right now, I will be just about getting ready to do my coast to coast, which I have postponed till next year for obvious reasons. And during the lockdown period, during this pandemic, I've been thinking I've just about had enough of isolation. So I'm gonna sort of flip things on their head a little bit and uh, go against the isolation and uh, hence meeting up with Darren. This works both ways for me and Darren because Darren wants to know a little bit more about uh, Robin Hood's grave. He wants to know where it is. I'm gonna show him round today. In fact, he's just been in touch with me and he's coming out a little bit earlier than, uh, than I thought. So I'm gonna get back over there and meet up with him. I was gonna show you round the spooky woods a little bit more on my own but I'm really glad that he's going to be here so I'm not on my own so it's going to be great meeting up with Darren I'm really excited to meet up with him and uh, I'm going to be getting in touch with some more of my favorite uh, channels some more of my favorite youtubers in the near future so look out for them vlogs uh, I'm really looking forward to this project uh, going against the isolation and more collaboration and I've got another little story for you when we get to Kirklees Hall so I'm going to rush back down now and uh, meet up with Darren he's on his way over and we are going to find out a little bit more about Darren and Adventure Me and his fantastic channel so he's here here is Darren from Adventure Me we've already walked quite a distance up towards uh, Robin Hood's grave I'm showing Darren Robin Hood's grave today and I'm absolutely sweating in these woods so why am I wearing the hat you ask yeah I know but I'm going to keep wearing it <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I'm showing Darren uh, Robin Hood's grave. We're going through the spooky woods and uh, we'll see you when we get there. And I'm going to ask uh, Darren a few questions about his fantastic channel along the way. Okay, so we made it to the grave and um, I'm going to take Darren down to Kirklees Hall where the arrow was shot from. As I said before, we're going to find out a little bit more about Darren's channel and it is an amazing channel. You need to check it out. I will leave a link to Darren's channel in the description below. So um, your channel's going a bit crazy right now. Yeah, to say the least. I'm not surprised. How long have you been into this sort of thing? You know, the uh, history, were you, were you into history at school? Uh, yeah, I would say I was. I wouldn't say I was a history nut, but I would say I had a slight interest in it. Good grades? Not, not what they taught you at school. Uh, yeah, not bad. <laughs> in not history. Bad. I didn't would your history <laughs> teacher be proud of you? Yeah, well, actually, he came out with me the other day. Brilliant. Believe it or not, he came on a vlog with me the other day. That is good. But That's I didn't, I didn't uh, do history as a subject, actually. I did geography instead. Right. But um, I think the history that we got taught at school was all Henry VIII and all that sort of stuff. Right. I wasn't really into that. I was more into Victorian history and more sort of modern history. Right. Well, I apologise for the geography getting here because I did take you <laughs> through. I, I was uh, watching. <laughs> So Darren's got his shorts on today and I'm taking him through all the nettles and uh, um, making it as hard as I can for him. So we might fall over, it is a bit of a narrow path. So you're a bit of a singer. A yeah. Bit, a bit of a singer. Bit of a singer. Yeah, so yeah. I sing. Tribute act. Tribute act, tribute band, is it? tribute band. Is it a tribute act? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah I didn't know that, did you? I didn't know that. Um, favourite, a famous 90s Manchester band, not Oasis. Favourite 90s Manchester band. Famous 90s. Still going today. You said no, not Oasis. Not Oasis. Hmm. Let's see. Um, 90s. Comment down below if you know what it, what it is. 90s Manchester band. This long. Five members. This long pause will be cut out and I'll get it instantly. <laughs> Five members. Soup Dragons. Take that. Take that, I got it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> is that going to fall on us? <laughs> <laughs> So I was looking at your recent vlog on the, was it was Milner Field. Milner Field, Milner yeah. Field, that was awesome. When you went down the, the cellar, the yeah. cellar in the woods. It's cellar the in same the woods. one. Absolutely brilliant, that. It was, uh, yeah, it was my first taste of underground, underground yeah. exploration. I didn't think you were going to go down there. When I, I watched it, I thought, there's no way you're going down there. It's, it's and when, uh, yeah, when somebody else does it, you've got to do it, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I could, I could see if I were, if I were involved in something like that, 
I would have gone down. I'd have told you to go down. <laughs> no way I would have been happy doing that. I'd have dragged you down. <laughs> Come on. But yeah, you've got you've kind of got to just take the plunge sometimes and do something. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, this, that's what I'm going to be doing. So yeah, I have to get used to it. So we've reached the gatehouse and uh, I'm interested to see what uh, Darren makes of this in his vlog. Now, you're uploading vlogs, Darren, every week. What are the pros and cons? Because as you know, I've just gone to uh, monthly vlogs yep. and I uh, was doing weekly. How are you finding the weekly? Uh, I'm finding it okay at the minute. Um, a bit experimental though, a bit like you, yeah. you, you probably are now. I, I, I started to do twice a week at one point and then I thought, no, that's a bit overkill. It's a bit too much and it's not only that you've got to keep up with it as well yeah and uh so i went back to just one a week so i'm i just do every sunday now and yeah it's okay but i was saying before if you've got a good subject that you can spread out across yeah. multiple weeks it covers a few weeks so you're all right but you've got to keep on top of it i saw in your live feed which are really good you them live them live oh, the live, uh, stream. live streams yeah, yeah. they're brilliant and uh you were saying that you're building up for the winter yes You're trying to get uh, so I'm, I'm about eight and nine videos ahead now yeah. in fact i'll be 10 after this one ahead because obviously when we get to winter you could be two months without going out at all are you a fair weather vlogger i, well, I am but just in case you <laughs> right, know, okay. no. i i would say i would i would go out in extreme but um it's having the right equipment as well isn't it yeah the wind that's right yeah all that sort of stuff yeah as you would know because you told me what you advised me what to get <laughs> So you're uploading plenty of vlogs. So what are you actually using to edit your vlogs? Okay, so at the minute I'm using a piece of software called DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve, yeah, I've heard of that. It's, it's basically Premiere Pro, but a different, ver different company, but it's very similar to Premiere Pro without the hefty price tag that Premiere Pro brings. It is, it is. I use Premiere Pro and it is expensive. It's 20 quid, it's 20 quid a month. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I've heard that, that, is, uh, that is on par with, so... I mean, if I was a filmmaker or something like that, I'd probably go a bit more advanced. But yeah. for, what we, for what I do, it's perfectly fine. Yeah, I think I'd like to get out of Premiere Pro, but it's learning another, another I, th I think you'd, I think you'd like DaVinci. Right. It's very similar and it's a lot cheaper. Now, I saw, saw the dog. Oh, Barney. Barney the dog. I didn't know that. Yeah. Do you take the dog out on vlogs with you? Yeah, 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 quite a lot. I mean, it's a bit awkward. I normally uh, bring him, but I have a friend or somebody that brings him with me and they'll walk him ahead while I'm filming. Right. Because I've, t I've tried before to take him out and vlog and you're talking to the camera and he's yanking away <laughs> and I'm being pulled or he's barking at another dog or he's <laughs> doing something or sniffing something. Yeah, it can be a bit of a... Yeah, because it's ideal to get the dog a walk, really. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the amount of times I go out vlogging, he would love it, but I either have to get somebody to take him for me away while I'm vlogging or I don't always take him with me, like today, for example. He can be being a beagle. He can be very mischievous, and yeah. very curious, which is not great when you're trying to film. And how old is Barney? He's nine nine years oh. old. Yeah, nine. Nine. nine now. Yeah, right. So he's uh, he's getting on, but he's yeah. He's still looks healthy. Yeah, he's yeah, still as fit as a fiddle. So what equipment do you use? I know that you use the GoPro. Is that the only tool that you use to create your vlogs? Uh, well, I've got the GoPro Eight, uh, which. It was actually a present for Christmas, which is because I've been talking about vlogging for years. Because you wouldn't buy one yourself, would you? No. No way. I was a bit, I was a bit, uh, no, you're You'd right. only have one given. <laughs> I don't get one given. <laughs> but no, to be fair, I mean, actually, I'll tell you a little story. I didn't get this one to start with. I actually got the uh, 360, the GoPro 360 Max Oh yeah. Fusion. Is that the one with the, it has the hero mode? Uh, no, it's, it's the, the one before The one that. before that, right. So this, it was the Fusion 360 and I took it out vlogging. So my first few vlogs that are on the channel, we used, I used that. And, um, you know, I got told it was 4K, but what you don't realise is it's 4K, 360. In a sphere, in a sphere. yes. Yeah. So when you downgrade yeah. it to just you, to, uh, you know, a nice view of yourself, it's only about 720p. So yes. it wasn't great. And the sound was terrible. Right. And you can't do external mics on it. So I took it straight back. I said, I'm sorry. I said, great present. Thank you. <laughs> However, if you want me to do it, if you want me to use it for vlogging, I need to change it to another one. Right. And I mean, to be fair, they were totally fine with it because and it was bought as a vlogging camera. And so. you find the Hero 8 good, yeah. no, no bother. Brilliant. Unlike myself, I actually have the Hero 8 with the media mod and it lets me down regular. Really wish that, uh, that I could go back to it. So I'm looking right. forward to the Hero 9. Look how lightweight it is, it's yeah. just great. And Yes, the media mod's not amazing. And again, I watched your video on that and I remember you sort of saying 
and you spoke to David as well and you yeah. said, it's not amazing. And so I knew that, but I did ask your advice, didn't I? I said, yeah. shall I get one? Because I need to plug an external mic in. And you yeah. said, get one. It's for good that. for that, yes. It was the fact that they lied about the, it isn't a shotgun, no. a mini shotgun microphone. It's just two little mics in there. There's two cheap mics yeah. in there. But my main gripe is that it, uh, it just lets me down. So I'm really hoping that the Hero 9 uh, mm. is going to be good. But should I give them any more of my money? I don't know. Well, I had a theory that, um, obviously, because you're forking out another 80 quid for this, for the medium mod. Yes. So if the, a lot of people were saying the 9 might include it built in, uh, or the jack at least. Yes, it but could be. why would they do that? Because you're going to pay for the camera and buy that as well. Yeah, With I think they're great. I, I really want to go back to it. I want to be able to trust mine yeah. because I'm fed up of carrying this G9 around. It's actually on a monopod right now because there's no way I could have held it out for this length of time. But that thing, you can hold it out hold all day out. long. So I'm going to tell you a little story about Kirklees Hall, which we were just looking at over there. And um, in the 1800s, I think it was, uh, the Armitage family owned this land and they, had, they actually had a jester and he was known as Hal. And Hal was a word used for people with a, a disability, like a, a learning disability. And he was their jester here in, these, uh, in the grounds and the houses there. And they used to sort of take the mick out of him a little bit, so the staff. And the joiner particularly took the mick out of him. And, he, and uh, there's a story about him uh, where he hid a coin in, the, uh, in a wall and told him that it would multiply uh, if, he, if he put a coin in the wall and it was equivalent to like a, a pound coin in the wall and the joiner went in later on and he changed it for coppers because uh, Hal, they called him Hal, Hal didn't really grasp the idea of uh, the value of each coin so he just got a few coppers and the joiner got a quid <laughs> and uh, it went on for quite some time but when he did realise that he'd been done over uh, Hal was determined to get his own back and for a while he uh, he just hid the joiner's tools and he was happy with that. Uh, but it went on a bit, all this uh, teasing. And uh, one day, no one had seen the joiner for a while and he was uh, late for a job that he was supposed to be doing. And they, they asked Hal and uh, he said, he said, oh, I've, I've hidden his head under, under the, some straw bales. And uh, when he wakes up, he's going to really struggle to find it. And uh, when they went looking for him, they actually found decapitated body of the joiner and his head hidden under some uh, bales of straw. And uh, Hal was taken away and tried for murder at York and he would have hung but he got off on um, mental weakness, I think they called it, and they brought him back here where he did actually spend the rest of his days here, looked after because he was mentally ill, and but it did affect him. He actually apparently did realise what he had done and he wouldn't go near any like bladed tools or anything like that. And um, he died quite young, I think in his uh, late thirties, uh, Hal died uh, be because he was really troubled by what he had done. Bit of a sad end to that story, but it's, a, it's an interesting story of what happened here at uh, Kirklees Hall. Uh, Darren, of course, does do weekly vlogs and uh, it's a fantastic channel, really do recommend it, so uh, check it out. And you're at uh, 2,000 subscribers now, just, amazing. Just topped two, 300, I think, but wow. I, I'm, I'm trying not to do, do it on the figures. <laughs> uh, I can't help but look though. But it's amazing, absolutely yeah. uh, fantastic. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep uh, doing what I'm doing and hopefully it'll carry on. But. I've really enjoyed meeting up with you today. Oh, thank, and, uh, thank you for showing me round. No problem. Thank you. And we just had a guy telling us that we weren't allowed here. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Although <laughs> we, didn't know, we didn't know who owned the land. <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah, I said it was private land, but anyway, we're still here. And yeah, it's been fantastic meeting up with Darren. And uh, this is uh, the beginning for me of a series of vlogs where I am going against all the isolation and I'm going to be meeting up with some of my favourite YouTubers. So maybe I'll be getting in touch with you next, but it's been great meeting up with Darren. So. Uh, that's it for this one. If you've enjoyed this vlog, give me a like. Consider subscribing. I upload a vlog every month. So if I don't see you through the month, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.